This video is going to be all about my new ring lights and possibly my lighting setup, a little bit about that too in case anybody's interested, I guess. So if you see my last video and if you follow me on Instagram, which I posted it on Instagram probably like a week ago or so, maybe a couple weeks ago. Yeah, probably like a couple weeks ago, I think. I showed it like fresh out the box on Snapchat. And I'm excited about it because I've been wanting a ring light for so long and just thought that like I would have to wait until I'm able to pay like around $300 for one. Why does the sun have to keep like messing with me? Right now I'm using natural lighting and yeah, it's kind of annoying because it's at the time, it's around five o'clock, around the time when the sun starts to go down and then sometimes it's like going in and out of clouds and all that messing up my light and you know come on sun stop messing with me stop messing with me but yeah i found one for really cheap on ebay for 92 dollars like 92 and some change but yeah basically like 92 dollars and it's an 18 inch and originally i was gonna order a 14 inch that was the one that i came across first and it was like the cheapest i saw it was like around well, the price at the time was about $65, but then like I didn't buy it right away and then ended up going out of stock. And then like the same seller, they ended up putting another one on there, but it was a 18 inch, which is more like $92. And I didn't really want to pay that much, but I thought that's still pretty good. Yes, I just decided to go ahead and get it. $92 for an 18 inch. It comes with a bag and a diffuser, pretty good price. The seller is called x rays but I'll put the link below where I got it from. So yeah, so here's the light. 18 inches <laughs> it was actually pretty big i mean i knew it was gonna be kind of big but for some reason i still pictured it being just a tad bit smaller but i guess that's okay it came packaged pretty good it actually said fragile on the box it came like in a big like square shaped cardboard box so the diffuser comes in pieces it's like in four pieces that just snap on um yeah this is the light bulb and the light bulb i think is like 75 watt light bulb like it's pretty freaking bright and the diffuser just snaps on so it's pretty cool it's not cloth it's plastic and it has a little slot right there where you can attach your camera you would need an attachment like it's like a hot shoe attachment i didn't get one but they're actually pretty cheap like only around five dollars i don't have one right now right here right now i just use my camera on the stand and um oh and i forgot to mention that this one is also a dimmer so the power on and off is right here on the bottom and if you turn it all the way up that's like the brightness and you can turn it down you can lower it for, for dimness yeah i thought 92 was pretty good for an 18 inch that comes with a diffuser and it dims with a diffuser a dimmer and a bag and everything so the only thing that you have to buy separately is a stand which i got one for about 13 dollars this is the bag that it comes with and the light fits perfectly snug in the bag it kind of has like a little bit of padding there's also zippers on both sides when they ship it it's inside the bag and then they have like some cardboard like around the actual light to hold the light bulbs in place and everything so and it did say fragile on the box so here's the light stand that i'm using so yeah it just goes on like that you just set it on and then it screws on right here i don't know it's, it's on pretty secure That's, it works i don't know you might just have to figure out like what the right stand is that needs to go on here but but for the most part it works pretty good as long as it's like secure and it's pretty much standing up straight it should be good so so far i used this light in about two of two of my recent videos because one of the reasons why i wanted a ring light so that i can have like a more even looking light on my face especially for like makeup videos and you know i just want my light to look even like i need to like look pretty on camera <laughs> i just i hate when there's like too many shadows or the light doesn't look even and it gets frustrating with a ring light it's just easier to just turn the ring light on and bam instead of like trying to like position lights and everything too much plus with this i can keep the iso on my camera down and that will help increase the quality of my video because you know when you have to have your iso up higher because your room is not bright enough then that kind of decreases the quality a little bit because you have more graininess and it might not be like that noticeable so in my last couple of videos i used the ring light and i still had like the umbrella lights on in the background like a bit further away while the ring light is like bam right there yeah so right now i'm using the natural daylight so it might be kind of hard to show you like the exact quality in this video but i'll just insert a clip to reference my other videos where i use the ring light you can kind of get an idea of how the lighting looks all right so i plugged it in it's starting to get kind of dark oh my gosh i'm looking dark it's getting dark okay so i plugged it in 
and this is how it looks well now this is the brightest that it can get this is on the full brightness and then it dims down this is the lowest that it dims this is the brightest this is the lowest <laughs> yeah it's, it's pretty pretty bright but yeah you just adjust it for what's right for you plus you would need to adjust the ISO on your camera too to work with the brightness so at this point it's starting to get dark so I'll probably be needing to use this ring light soon but yeah it's too dark in here now boo I don't like that damn it Okay, so right now I just positioned the ring light in front of my camera, like where it's supposed to be at. And my ISO is on 1600, which is actually, but that's not too bad, but I've actually been keeping my ISO down at 800 while I've been using this ring light. But, let's see. Okay, so now right there that would be a little bit too bright. Plus there's still a little bit of natural light coming through the window on top of it, but this is actually the lowest that it dims, so I would actually adjust the ISO a little bit lower probably, or even the um, f-stop. So, Alright, so right here it's pretty good. The ring light is dimmed to the lowest it can go. The camera is on 1600 ISO, where the f-stop is up to so about 5. So, plus I still have a little bit of natural light coming in. It's not completely dark yet, but it's getting dark. So, yeah, this is about how it looks. So that's the ring light on the brightest it can go, and then that's how it looks on the lowest setting. But you have to also adjust your camera settings too to go with your lighting, your ISO, and f-stop and stuff. Alright, so anyways, let me see if I can show you how the whole my whole lighting setup looks. Okay, so this is basically my lighting setup for when I'm filming at night, or there's just not enough daylight. So I have the ring light sitting right in front of me with my tripod right behind it. So of course this is where my camera would be, right in the middle of the ring light. And then I also like to use my two umbrella lights to help brighten up the room even more. And I keep them further back behind my bed. But what I've been doing is I've been putting the umbrellas on the lights backwards instead of like in the front. So since the lights are further back, that means they're not like that bright like in your face. So I put the umbrellas behind because I feel like the whiteness of the umbrellas behind the light kind of helps reflect a little bit more light like bouncing off the umbrellas like towards me and kind of just making things a little bit tad more brighter. All right, so if I was going to have the umbrellas closer to me, like more like closer to my face, like right in my face so that it's brighter, you know, like if I didn't have a ring light, then I would put the umbrellas like in the front so that the light is shining through the umbrellas and it's being diffused a little bit more so that the light is not too harsh and bright in your face. But since the lights are kept further back, then I feel like the umbrellas kind of make it a little bit darker. And plus, when the light is further away from you, it's not going to be as harsh on your face as it is when it's closer. So yeah, so usually I either don't use the umbrellas at all or I put them behind the light. It helps bounce the light off and reflect it more, making it seem a little bit more brighter and maybe even making your background brighter and all that if you, if you want that type of thing. Yeah, so basically this is now my lighting setup is my ring light with two umbrellas behind it. Or sometimes if there's still a little bit of daylight, then maybe I won't use the umbrellas yet, but just the ring light. But other than that, if it's a bright as sunny day, then I don't need any lights. And that's what I try to do if I can film earlier. <laughs> And right now I'm using the ring light with a little bit of daylight, which I'm gonna hurry up because the only thing about that is that when people walk by, now they can see all up in my window <laughs> and they can see me sitting here filming a video. And yeah, I like this ring light. So far it's been working pretty good. It's, I think, $92, pretty good deal on eBay. I mean, I don't know, I, I never had like the actual like Diva ring light. So I don't know what the differences are or like how much better it is, but, but all I know is at least for now, Having this ring light is better than nothing, you know, if you can't spend, you know, $300 on, you know, a more expensive ring light, like a more name brand one. So this one is still pretty good, like it gets the job done, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'll leave the link where I got it. But yeah, if you have any questions or there's just like anything else about my ring light or lighting or anything that you want to know, 
leave some comments below and I will reply back to you. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. I'll see you in another video. Bye. Thanks. Main and bass get lower. Radio say speed it up. I just go slow. I just go slow. I just I just go slow. Radio say speed it up. I just go slow. Why you think you keep my name rolling off the tongue? Cause when you wanna smash, I just write another one. I sneeze on the beat and the beat got.